Have you ever tried to draw a Y fitting in Revit only to get it look like this little funky fitting right here? Now we want this one on the right, but why does Revit do this? So I'm gonna show you guys exactly why this is happening. So let's just start drawing some pipe and we're gonna draw it from the bottom up. And I'm going to 45 degree into this pipe at this location. Now, since we drew it from the bottom up, the flow direction is actually from the bottom to the top. So Revit thinks that the flow in this pipe is going this way. And so that's why this little funky fitting happens right here. So let's try this again. So if we draw the piping from the top to the bottom, and then we try to 45 degree into the piping, you're gonna see that the flow direction is working. And so Revit is gonna actually draw this Y fitting the correct way. Now this is actually not a Y fitting. This is actually a sanitary T. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the techniques that I use to uh, work with Y fittings. Now if you ever have this issue right here, the easy fix is to just go ahead and delete it. And you can just trim this piece into this piece. And then you can just click on the fitting and click this little plus right here and it will create this uh, Y fitting right here. But then you have to connect the piping back into that Y fitting for it to work. Now that was kind of a lot of steps and a lot of times I don't like wanna have to take all those steps. I want everything to just work perfectly inside of Revit. So honestly, using this sand T is not really ideal for modeling inside of Revit. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I do when I'm modeling. So I'm gonna start drawing some pipe and the first thing we're going to go over is using a sanitary or a combination fitting. So I'm going to draw some pipe right here and I'm going to 40 or 90 degree into that pipe. And you're going to see that Revit's going to create this sand tee in the 90 degrees. Now this fitting is actually not approved for a lot of situations. So what I do is I like to change this to a combination fitting. And so let's go ahead and load in a combination fitting into Revit. So I'm gonna to go to insert, load family, and we're already at the DWV folder. And so I'm going to go ahead and select two fittings. We're gonna use this Y45 degree reducing fitting right here. And we're also going to hold control and select this Y combination fitting. Now these two fittings are the top two sanitary fittings you're gonna to want to use. So I'm gonna click open. And now that the combo fitting is in my project, I can click on this sand tee and I can click the drop down and you can see the Y combination is available. So I can just easily just change that. And now I have a combination Y, which is in the International Plumbing Code, IPC. This is now approved for sanitary drainage. So what if I want a Y fitting? So let's go ahead and draw some more piping and let's just draw it right here. And let's just try to Y into this thing, just like that. You're gonna see it still uses that sanitary T. So right here, it's the sanitary T. So let's click the drop down and let's try to select that Y fitting. But you can see that it's not available on this list. And the reason it's not available is because this is actually a T type fitting. The way we know that is if we click on it and we go to edit family, you're gonna see under part type, it's actually a T fitting. So we actually can't use the Y fitting. So what we have to do is we actually have to change the Y fitting to a T. All right, so all we have to do is let's go ahead and put the T or the Y fitting into this view right here. So I'm gonna just go to my pipe fittings down here in the project browser. And we're gonna click on this Y 45 degree reducing. We're just gonna drag in this one right here. And we can always drag it into a piece of a pipe and that will work just fine. So now let's click on it and let's go to edit family. And you can see this fitting is actually a Y fitting, which makes sense because it's a Y, but we wanna actually change this to a T. So now let's load it back into the project. We'll overwrite the existing and its parameter values and now it's a T fitting. So now if we click on this T fitting right here, it is now available in the dropdown. So let's change it to that T or that Y and look at that, everything worked out perfectly. Now, this method's okay, but every time I draw that sanitary T, I have to change it to a combo or I have to change it to a Y. 
It would be nice if I can set the routing preferences so it automatically creates a combo fitting when I 90 degree into any piping and it automatically uses a Y fitting when I 45 into some piping. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how to make that work. So if we click on our piece of pipe, we go to edit type, we can set the routing preferences right here for this piece of type, pipe. So let's click edit and right now the preferred junction type is T and that's right and you can see it's using this T sanitary so we want to change that so I'm going to first change it to this Y combination eighth bend and then we're going to add in another one and I'm also going to add in that Y 45 degree reducing now we have to make sure the min size is set to all for both and now it will work for both sizes or all sizes so we're going to click OK and we're going to click OK again so now let's go ahead and start drawing some more pipe so let's go ahead and draw this one right here and then let's 90 into this piece and you can see the combo is getting drawn perfectly so let's see if our 45 is working so let's draw piping from top to bottom just like that and then we'll 45 degree into it and you're gonna see there's some issues going on now it's trying to put the Y combination as this 45 degree Y now that's not what we want and the reason why it's doing that is because this Y combination fitting can actually do any angle I don't know why they did that but they did it so I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that so what we have to do is we have to lock this combination fitting to only work for 90 degrees so how do we do that well we can go to edit family and I happen to know it lives in the family types and these are all the parameter values associated with this fitting. You can see there's a ton of stuff going on. So you can see there's this parameter value called angle and the default value is 90 degrees. So let's go ahead and edit this and take a look at what it's, what it's doing. So if we click on edit parameter, you can see that this is an instance parameter, meaning I can make this angle anything I want. I don't want to do that. I want it only to work for 90 degrees. So I can simply just say it's a type and now it's only going to work for 90 degrees. I'm gonna click OK, click OK, and now I'm gonna load that BIC into the project. We're gonna overwrite the existing and the parameter values, and right away it's saying, hey, this was drawn at 45 degrees, I can't make that work anymore. So let's disconnect it, and let's just go ahead and delete this fitting in general, and let's just drag this piece back to here, and let's see what happens when we 45 degree now. Boom, you can see the Y fitting is working perfectly. Now you can take it one step further and I can also lock down the Y fitting, okay? So I can go up to edit family and the same thing. Now I can go to the family types and I can go down to this angle and I can edit the parameter value and I can also make it a type, hit okay, load it back into the project overwrite the existing and the parameter values and let's just disconnect it for now we'll delete it so I'm just gonna drag this down and let's go ahead and 45 that into the pipe and you can see it worked perfectly so those are the tips that I would use now that was a lot of stuff I don't want you guys to have to do that every single time so luckily I've created a template file for you so if I go to file and I load up the MEP guy fittings template I've already created the routing preferences and all the fittings and I've already set the properties correctly automatically for you. So if we start a new project, we'll go to new project, I'll select the plumbing default project and basically all we would have to do is we can just delete the pipe type. So I'll just go to pipe types PVC, I'm just going to delete that and now I don't even have it in the project but I'm gonna to go to my template file. I'm gonna actually select this whole piece, which includes the pipe type of PVC, but it also includes all of these fittings right here. So I'm gonna copy that to the clipboard, and I'm just gonna control V and paste that into a brand new project. We'll change the detail level to fine. Let's go ahead and start drawing some pipe. And you can see that when I go vertical and now let's create similar and then when I 45 into this guy you can see that the combo Y is working and then when I 45 
you can see that the Y fitting's working perfectly. So that was a brand new project, and all I did was I brought in this uh, group right here, which I can easily just delete from my project and everything will still work. And I also will have all of the pipe fittings that I need for pretty much any project that I want. So you can get this template file at mepguy.com, and if you want to look at the routing preferences real quick, we can go to edit type, hit edit, and you can see I've already created the routing preferences that I use on every single project, and this really helps me with my workflow and helps me to model much faster in Revit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now, if you want to see some of the uh, fittings in action, you can check out the next video where I do a little back-to-back bathroom where I use all these different fittings in a real world situation. So make sure you check that video out next. See you in the next one.